Good morning and happy Wednesday, guys. Welcome back to another edition of Let's Get Froggy. Even though my thumbnail says it's hump day with a camel on it, we all know what day of the week it is. It's Wednesday. Let's get to it. We have Oscar and we have baby Jasper. If you would like to book a private reading with me down below as well, before I forget to mention that, because I've just opened up my private readings, all that information for you is down below and where to get the details on how to book with me. We will also be doing a morning rebel deck poll as usual. So for my folks that do not like cursing, please feel free to, as usual, skip the end. If you're new here and you like my videos and you're enjoying yourself, please feel free to join our happy fr um, frog family and consider subscribing to us. So without further ado, let's jump in and timestamps will be down below. And if you need extra time, now is the time to take to pause the video to pick between Oscar and baby Jasper. So with the Osho Zen cards, we have morality, breakthrough, healing, and the source. Try and line these up for you guys. All right, so today I feel like there's going to be some major breakthroughs with things emotionally as well as with creative um, projects. Because I'm really drawn to the orange colors in these cards. And the fact that this one's uh, want, this is the Ace of Wands in this card. Uh, yeah, in this card, huh? In this card deck. And the Queen of Swords and the King of Water. And I'm not exactly sure what Breakthrough means in this deck. I want to say it's either the Tower or Strength. But I, I want to say it's Strength because the orange screams more like Strength to me. And he looks like a very strong individual. But anyways, if I'm wrong, it's whatever. I'm just rolling with what I'm feeling intuitively off these cards. And I feel like there's going to be a lot of emotional breakthroughs as well as creative and um, mental breakthroughs for you guys today. So let's see what we get for some advice from our um, Oracle decks. We have breakthrough yet again. I soar into limitless, <clears throat> into limitless love, light, and joy. So with this, I feel like it's definitely reaching for the stars and um, uh, heading straight towards those goals with no stopping you. Sky's the limit with these, with these creative breakthroughs and also these emotional breakthroughs as well. Let's see. We have energy. Lots of high energy today is going to be needed for healing energy and immense vitality flow through me easily and effortlessly. So know that this is definitely a high creative uh, breakthrough energy type of day. And it will also give you that boost to get through the rest of the um, next couple of days for the rest of the week. We have voyage. <clears throat> I am safe and loved no matter where I am. So with this, I feel it's also more of asking you guys to go with the flow and to stay um, steady on your course with whatever course of action that you guys are taking today with um, projects and anything else. We have mermaid with uh, floating flowers. I'm like, that was a little hard to read. So anyways, we have mermaid with floating flowers. So with this, I feel it's a beautiful energy type of day like you feel like extra confident in yourself from what I'm getting with this card and I feel like it's also okay to slow down even just a little bit to soak everything in and enjoy everything's beauty that's around you we have mermaid with a black sea serpent so with this I feel like there's also a little bit of doubt and a little bit of afraidness with some of these risks that you might be taking today, but know that it's safe for you to do so and that you have the strength to do it. Okay. And then for our Halloween Oracle, we have cauldron synergy and healing. So with this, I feel like everything is going to go smoothly and, um, it's going to fit well together. And I feel like it's definitely going to be, um, some synchronistic energy as well thrown in the mix with that to where you understand that it's definitely supposed to be what it is and how it is. And that it's just 
going to come together so well for you guys and it's just going to work out perfectly in the end, okay? With whatever creative projects that you're working on. Lots of creativity with this one today. Strange for a Wednesday. And that's all the messages I get for Oscar. So for baby Jasper, let's see what else we get. Move these over just a little bit for you guys. So with the Osho Zen, we have understanding, success, completion, and happy, or uh, excuse me. Yeah, I was going to say happiness, but it's ripeness. So with this, I feel like, I feel like whatever you've been waiting for emotionally is definitely coming to um, fruition for you. And what else? I feel like whatever you've been waiting for is finally ready to come in or to be picked for you is what I'm getting with this because I feel like it's like a picking apples type of energy with this card. So whatever choices you've made, I feel like you've also made the right um, decision and that you are about to finally see the fruits of your labor is what I've been trying to get at. With understanding, I feel like you're definitely going to have a clear understanding of everything that's been coming in. And I also feel like there's some messages coming in for you today, whether it's via text or um, any other kind of uh, messages like phone calls or whatnot. But I feel like there's definitely going to be a lot of um, incoming messages and communication today for you guys with this. And that someone has finally seen and understood your point of view with whatever the situations have been lately between you guys, it, whoever that's for that, you know who you are, that'll resonate with you. So please remember to take what resonates and leave the rest as well. We have success and we have completion. I feel like these two cards go together. I feel like all the puzzle pieces have fit perfectly together and you've finally had success with whatever projects these are today. And whatever you've been actually working on or like trying to figure out, I feel like all the pieces have finally come together for you to put that puzzle completion to completion. And it's definitely going to be a successful type of energy day and a kind of joyous energy type of feeling with a lot of strength and creativity. So let's see what we get for our Oracle guidance. We have embracing. I embrace and love all the, all of my life. So with this, I feel like it's definitely related to a relationship and two people coming together and finally com having that wholeness. Like you finally completed coming to, or no, excuse me. Let me rephrase this and slow down just a second. I feel like you guys have finally come together for whoever's just begun a new relationship and you have finally been able to fully embrace each other and get to know each other. And I also feel like you two go together perfectly for whoever this is for. We have grace. I graciously accept the infinite love of the universe. So with this, I feel like taking a little bit of pride in your work today is definitely called for and going with the flow. Sorry, I needed to take a drink there. Mouth's getting kind of dry. Um, and that it's definitely going to be also a relaxing type of day as well for some. Because we have peace as well. I breathe deeply knowing that all is well in my universe. So it's definitely a day where you can take and sit back and finally just relax and ease into the rest of the last couple of days for this week. And I feel like definitely getting a lot of um, rest and a good night's sleep is definitely called for yet again. So if you've been having a rough week, try and see if you can get some rest tonight and a little bit of a better sleep. And hopefully that will help you get through the next couple of days with energy. We have stranded. So I feel like whatever you guys have been stuck with lately, it's going to be coming unstuck and um, finally being able to flow throughout the rest of the week because I feel like it's come to almost like a screeching halt lately 
with everything feeling like it's kind of going slow for some people out there. And then we have uh, microsm, micro chasm seascape. I'm like, the cursive in this is kind of hard for me to read. So, yeah, microchasm uh, seascape. So, with this, I feel like whatever emotions have been bottled up, they need to be released because it's starting to fester inside and become a little bit of like, um, unsettling for you. I feel it's very like almost as if there's like a storm inside of you brewing and it needs to escape before it explodes is what I'm getting with this. <clears throat> Sorry. I also feel like once you are able to release this, you're going to have a lot of growth with this because I'm really attracted to the vines in her hair and that you all have definitely learned a lot of lessons as well. We have owl. Why seeing wise action? So with this, I feel like whatever you are being intuitively guided to do or whatever messages you've been receiving from spirit, Please listen to your intuition at this time because they're guiding you in the right direction. And it's also giving you some aha moments today. So if you have that bright aha moment, that's your intuition trying to get your attention and tell you, hey, listen, you're on point. So those are the messages I get for today. So let's see what we get from our rebel deck, okay? What do you guys most need to know for some cheeky guidance to get you through today? Uh, one more. Make that two more. So these will be for everybody. So we have fucking apologize. Seriously, just do it. So I feel like someone's going to be apologizing to you today if you are not apologizing to yourself or maybe a little bit of harsh treatment and downing yourself or doubting yourself with whatever your creative products because again, that orange color is coming through. Don't doubt yourself with your creative projects, okay? You're doing just fine and everything is working out. We have detox and you are being shady. So for the detox card, we have drink a smoothie, unfriend that asshole, throw some shit out. So I feel like whatever this toxic person is that's been bothering you owes you an apology and hopefully they will be coming in to give you that said apology. It Remember, everyone has free will, so I can't tell you if they're going to for sure or not, but I feel like there's definitely an apology coming in from somewhere. Let's see. You're being shady, and the back says, watch out, shit could get ugly. So with this, I feel like it's more of don't hold back. Whatever you feel needs to be said, say it, but also think before you speak as well, because that's been a common theme this week. And these are your messages I get for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, liking, and subscribing to my videos. I hope you guys have a blessed one, and I will see you tomorrow.